Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over simulated devices in NIMAX and how to set them up. So NIMAX uh, is a tool that NI provides uh, to interact with all sorts of hardware, uh, including serial connections, network devices, uh, etc. But today we're going to focus specifically on simulated devices. And what you can do with simulated devices is set up um, a virtual uh, DAC device. So for example, if you right click on devices and interfaces, you can create new, select a simulated NI DAC device and click finish. Then you'll be prompted in a moment to select what kind of chassis that you want to actually simulate. So in this case, we're going to go ahead with um, uh, one that we already know, which is the 9174, which is a CDAC. It's a four slot. Uh, and we're going to double click on that and it's going to immediately load a new virtual uh, chassis. Then when we go to that chassis, we are able to configure it. So we right click, so we click configure simulated chassis. And right now we're going to go ahead and just simulate the NI9205, um, which is an analog input uh, device. So now you can see we have our um, chassis and we have our module in slot one. Uh, and you can see that this module has uh, four slots, but we only use one. So we save this, save all. And now what we can do is without having any physical hardware, we can right click on that module and create a task. And from here, we just do acquire signals. It's gonna be an analog input for voltage. Uh, and then you can see that that module has 32 channels. So let's select four, zero to three, and we're gonna call this my simulated 9205 task. And you'll see that in data neighborhood, we immediately get an NI DAC MX task, which we can run uh, as though it was a real task. So let's go ahead and say the data acquisition rate is um, one kilohertz. And let's say that the sample street is one kilohertz. And you'll see that once we click run, we have some fake data coming in. So this isn't real data. This isn't coming from a real device, but it allows us to test logic. And at this point we have um, we're looking at it through NIMAX, so we're not doing anything useful with it. But once we actually load up um, in future videos, once we actually load up um, DAC driver APIs in LabVIEW, you can see we can do a lot more and actually test our code in LabVIEW. But this allows us to just generate um, module data without actually having anything wired, uh, which in case you're receiving hardware, you don't have anything coming in yet, is very, very useful. And we're going to go ahead and show you actually uh, what else you can do. Uh, so let's go back to here, let's configure, and let's go ahead and select another um, module. So let's go ahead and say that we're going to select the 9375. It won't let us, so let's manually get there. 9375 is right here. And this one is a, a digital input, digital output module. So what we can do is we can again create the task. And this is going to be a choir signal, but it's going to be a digital input. And we're, we're going to go ahead and do a line input. So let's just say we're going to do my simulated uh, 9375 task. Uh, so again, you can see that when we run this, we're generating um, random data input. Um, it's just coming in, toggling on and off. It, it, there has no rhyme or reason. This is fake data. Uh, you can do the same thing for output where you can control an output. Um, you can do this with pretty much every module that they have uh, available online. Um, and this is a very good way to test your logic prior to actually receiving or wiring any of your uh, modules. So, and this can be very useful in future videos where we're not going to connect any real uh, modules. Um, so feel free to drop a like, uh, throw comments in the sections below if anything is unclear or if you want me to go over other sections. Um, but this is really just an intro video to show you that this is a feature that exists and that it might be useful in your logic.